welcome back in continuation to the last lecture on classical reports we'll do a small hands on on how the classical interactive reports events are executed under the program now in this lecture we'll go ahead and put the classical report events as a program this is a simple program that i'm going to create right now so that you'll get a better understanding for how this is used to beautify a report let me go into transaction code ac38 let me write a program for classical reports and click on create demo for classical reports executable program save local objects now in here unlike the programs that we have seen so far classical reporting and interactive reporting are a bit different because we have to mention the line dimensions of the screen so in this case let me add out some new fields for you for line size some value line count some value and no page headings let me explain you these things with the output that we get out of this program so never worry right now i go ahead and give the work area for a table called vbrp type vbrp and internal table type table of vbrp we should have an input criteria for which i'm using a select options s underscore vbeln for vbrp hyphen vbeln whenever i give a select option i have to mention tables keyword vbrp now let me start out with the first event of classical reports which is called as an initialization event so we should always keep in mind that in a report where you can find both events from classical report and interactive reports it is no longer called as classical report because there is at least one interactive report even to it whenever there is no interactive report events the report is called as a classical report now in this case i'm going to have a pure classical report program hyphen low so i'm going to set a default value for this box with this i have already checked this value with my data dictionary so i'm giving the value 9005190 and along with this i have two more values to be set one is a sign the sign is always an integer and we have one more value called the option the option is always between operand pt now all this value has to be appended to s underscore vbln this is an event now as we have already seen we have a start of selection event we have an end of selection event i'll just write it to them and below to start of selection let me write a subroutine call with the help of a perform keyword perform get data and perform show list these are the two events two subroutines that i've written but i'll go ahead and create it for two more events top of page and end of page 
perform page underscore header and perform page photo double click on the get data to go ahead and give the logic within the subroutine here let me give a select query select star from vbrp put it into table it underscore vbrp where vbln in s underscore vbln now this is done now we have to show this double click on the show list choose the main program go ahead and write a logic write wa underscore vbrp i think we forgot a step loop at it underscore vbrp into wa underscore vbrp inside go ahead and give the right statement write down hyphen hyphen vbln hyphen v voice and r so these are the two fields that i want to display furthermore we have two more options page header which always gives the heading for the page that we want to display this in so the header just go with the right statement and demo for classical reports fair enough go to the top and create a page footer usually in the page footer we go with the page number some footer elements etc then here the first statement that i'm going to give is the underline statement underline at let me give 120 let me show you the output right i'm going to give the page number and i'm going to use a system variable that brings the page number to the front here we go I'm done with the program save it check for syntax errors activate the program enter you can see that the select option boxes carries a default value and that is because we have initialized that in the initialization screen okay you can either change the value or go with the same values you can see the beautiful output of the classical report with the help of the classical report events now you'll ask me a question what is this underline this underline is nothing but the statement that we have given in the page footer subroutine called u line at 120 120 is nothing but the length of this character and followed by the page number so a page is nothing but from here to here is called one page now to add more details we have added one line here line size 125 line count 10 of 2 no standard page headings line size is nothing but the start and the end of the line so you can expand the row to 125 characters and you can see 10 of 2 represents 10 lines starting from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 lines per page and two columns one two that is called 10 of 2. We'll get more interactions in the coming lecture with interactive reports. Hope you enjoyed this session. See you in the next lecture. Thank you.